Zuniceratops. You say it Zuniceratops. My name means Zuni horned head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! This is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuniceratops. I'm the first ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See? At the tip of my nose. Not very big, just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Ah, <sighs> now that's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ni o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! All right, team. Here we are in the late Jurassic period, 150 million years ago. You know me, I'm Coach Stegosaurus. You can say my name. Stegosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! That's the herbivore spirit? Okay, let's go over our equipment. Get in line. Great, let's see those plates. Now that's not really enough armor, but they do make the carnivorous dinos think twice about taking a bite out of us. These plates actually let us be warmer or colder, depending on how much we point them at the sun. Hey, an Allosaurus! Let's see those Thagomizers. Yes, those stagomizers at the end of our tails are the real deal. Those spikes are up to 1.2 meters long. And we need them where we're from, what is now known as the Midwestern United States. In fact, we're Colorado State Fossil. All right, team, no one's gonna mess with us, right? Stagosaurus! 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 Rah, rah, rah! We're pretty big, the size of a bus. Are you ready, Stegosaurs? That's great, team. 
It's very easy to say, Min, me. And welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs called ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on. With all that body armor on your back, you didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. could have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia, a place called Minmi's Crossing. Get ready, get set, and... Uh. Eh, I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me. me. I'm Panopolosaurus. That's pan o plo -saurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. No guesses? Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. I have a stiff, clubless tail. And look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Divide by eight. Pi. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck. And I weigh three and a half metric tons. The same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay, this is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada. So can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No, Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me. Sheesh. Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh well, see you next time. Hello, hello, I'm Nothronicus. That's Nothrone, I, cuss. And welcome to our late Cretaceous TV show. No, your dinosaurs. Joining me today are my best buddies, Custard and Ronnie. Hi. Hi! We're talking about what makes us really different from other dinos. Custard, any thoughts? Um, we're on TV? Uh, good try, but no. Even though we're theropods, we don't eat meat. You see, most theropods are carnivores. Great, now I'm hungry. Oh, oh, I've got one. We have very fine feathers covering our whole bodies. Mm-hmm. What else is different about us from most dinos? We have these long claws for snipping leaves and branches. And our teeth aren't sharp, but they're perfect for mashing up plants. And we drool when we chew with our mouths open. I'm not drooling. Let's not forget that we need to eat a lot because we're really big. As big as this giraffe fella here. All right, all right, thanks for coming on the show. 
We live in what is now called New Mexico. And that's our show! Join us next time in the late Cretaceous period as we discuss asteroids, real or are they a myth? So, who wants to get something to eat? Hi everyone, I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really, how can I find my herd if everything's covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? <laughs> my long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Eep. Aha! I have an idea. Mmm. I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world, where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything, frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an ice age animal. Eep! Okay, wise guy. <laughs> He got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. <laughs> Ooh, don't sneak up on me like that. Give me a heart attack. Let me introduce myself. I am the Bipiaosaurus, and yes, I have feathers. I was flying there a second ago, looking for some plants to eat. Did you see? Okay, okay, well, maybe it was more like I fell out of the tree. But I did feel lift on my wings just before I hit the ground. Hard. Did you hear something? Because I definitely heard something. Ah! Oh, I do say, excuse the interruption. You don't have to hide. Really now, I'm the Microceratus, one of the smallest dinosaurs ever. What can I possibly do to you? They should have been named Chicken, not after Bai Piao, the city in China where they found the Bai Piaosaurus fossil. I am not a chicken, just careful. Besides, would a chicken try to fly again? Huh? It's just mind over matter. I can do this. <laughs> Whoa, that's a long way down. Okay, so my feathers aren't made for flying. They're more like downy fibers, but they're still feathers, right? And I'm not super huge or anything. I'm only a little bit taller and heavier than a man. All I have to do is think positive. I am positive! <laughs> I'm the Argentinosaurus. That's Argentinosaurus. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> oh no, this is not a good place to hide. You see, I'm playing hide and seek with my friends, but I don't think I'm very good at it. I am from what is now known as Argentina. That is in South America. Ugh. This is hopeless. I am too big to hide. That's what you get for being over 70 metric tons and 23 meters long. I am even longer than three school buses. As a herbivore, I love eating plants. 
That bush looks too delicious. What are you doing? You're eating my hiding place. I am sorry I get so hungry. I need to eat 45 kilograms of food a day. And all this running and hiding, well, it just made me hungrier. Aha, uh -huh. got you both. You two are really bad at this game. I think I'm just too big for this game. But maybe we can play something else. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Ah, greetings. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Sonornithoids. A theropod is a bipedal omnivore, which means I walk on two legs and I'll eat just about anything, meat or plant. And welcome to what is now known as China in the Middle Cretaceous period. It is said that I, Sonornithoids, and one of the most intelligent dinosaurs to have ever lived. And many scientists have concluded that my brain is larger than other dinos. True, I'm not the largest dinosaur out there, but sheer size isn't everything. Take the modern turkey, for example. He and I are about the same size, but the differences between us are obvious. He's a bird brain. <laughs> it is said that I, Sinornithoids, am not only very smart, but also disciplined and precise, especially when I'm on the hunt. Here, let me show you some of my moves. Ha! This is a position I like to call Feathered Dragon Leaping. Observe and learn. Ah! Uh, well, it seems I'm a little tied up at the moment. Please come back real soon. Ah, my friend, welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend, you leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes, believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, um, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop up my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know? Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must stun myself. Hi, I'm Massospondylus. You say it like this, Massospondylus. I'm trying to think of what I can do for the Dino Talent Show. It helps to have hands that let me grab things or I'd never be able to do this. My name means massive vertebra. Those are the bones in my neck. Here, take a look. Now that's a lot of neck. I live in what is now called South Africa. I 
I'm about the same size as an elephant, but I weigh a lot less because my bones are hollow and I have air sacs that make me lighter. That's how I can be so light on my feet. I know. I could tap dance in for the talent show. Hmm, maybe not dancing. Oh, I know. I love to sing. Listen. La 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 la. Well, what do you think of my singing? I guess I need to practice more. I wish there was something else I could do for the Dino Talent Show. Something I was good at. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me. See you at the talent show. And stay out! Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the depth of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num -num Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Comp Comp so Nathus. Nathus.